Each day she'd come here, escape and hide, cry and pray for something like a soldier. I mean, weren't there Harriet Tubman's you could Google, double tap, and like, and they'd be your friends and help you get free? There was still no air. The weight of black lives and hip-hop wives crushed the cavity housing her heart, penetrated all that fortified her, and she felt her strength betray her. She slid down the cold concrete wall into a ball. Weakness saturated her mind. Spirit gone, she thought of the revolutionary plasma that raced through her veins, or so she'd been told. You're stronger than this, my aunt. This voice was new. Not the nervous mutter she become accustomed to quiet and now. Power pushed this noise up through her gut to her temples and it rocked her. You, my aunt, they're waiting for you, baby. She held in the stifling air that was choking her, filling her eyes with water. She'd exhale when she was free. They're waiting on you, little sister. She held the golden circle that hung from the cheek chain around her neck. She felt it tap with a rhythm like a djembe. She'd worn this tarnished locket every day since she'd been a girl. And now she was a woman, and it was hers since her mama died. Passed down through generations of mamas and their daughters in her bloodline. Her mama's death had made her woman enough to wear. She'd always longed to know that tiny, sepia face staring back at her from the inside. Wanted to talk to those eyes that looked at her from this heirloom. A great, great grandmother. Or maybe there were three greats she didn't remember. But she was strong. She knew that. The essence of power wrapped up in a five foot nothing package who had gotten her freedom. Took it with a machete and bare feet and lived to tell it and bear generations of leather tough women after. Nobody tell you what free looks like. Freedom belongs to you just like that hair on your head. And it's waiting for you. Go on, breathe, and take your free. <sighs> the air came in bursts. <laughs> she was getting her air back and breathing, child. Fresh air, too. Oh, the two tight closet couldn't hold her. She saw faces of murdered boys and Silhouettes of lost Nigerian girls, and they replaced the cleansers and the mops, and they needed her now. Oh, so she ran. Run, child. They're waiting on you. No time to unlatch that rusted lock. She ran, no, she ran for them, for her. She ran and ran. Run, Mott. Go and get your free, baby. You see, no one ever said our freedom would be some big production. We're all chipping away at it like everyone else. It's the same type of free.
ships are no major enemy. 